Hello YouTube! I hope everyone is having an amazing day. It is getting dark so early now and it just makes me super uncomfortable. I still have to go for groceries after this and I'm filming another YouTube video right after this one. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be out next week and I'm going to be wearing a different outfit. So anyone that's watching the video that comes out next week, just know that it's today and I'm freaking tired. <laughs> so I've been in this self-development game, this self-improvement journey for a while now. Basically since before COVID, I kind of got the ball rolling with my identity and just trying to gain some confidence. Anyone that knows me from high school and like middle school era, Christina was not a confident girl and holy, I needed to change something about myself because I just couldn't end up, I was looking five years into where my life was headed and if you told me five years later, which is now, that I was in the position that I am in, I'd be like, thank Jesus, thank God because honestly, everyone was worried for me. <laughs> I'm kidding, kind of. Now that I've been in the self-development game for a long time, my fitness journey, I would say that I am pretty confident speaking on how to actually stick with a routine and how to build up the consistency to actually stay disciplined. So I'm gonna share some tips with you. I have my laptop here, so all my tips are on here. I definitely think that they are super, super highly valuable. Please watch and stick around to the very end because at the very end, I have a very good, tip to end off this video. So let's not make this any longer than it needs to be. Let's get right into it. So the very first tip that I always tell my clients when starting off with my fitness program as well is less is more in the beginning and starting off too strong can really make or break your journey and your path to consistency. So many people think that when they're changing something about their lifestyle, they need to dive head first and create that all or nothing mindset. And honestly, you're setting yourself up for failure before you even begin. You're gonna end up crashing in a couple days into your all or nothing journey for self-improvement. And this is because all of these little tasks that you are doing every day that you never were doing before are not going to stick and they're going to end up being too demanding for your lifestyle. Less is more in the beginning so you can build up that momentum very slowly. If you're trying to change your lifestyle, what's the rush, you know? So don't go overboard. It's totally okay to feel like you're doing less and to feel like you're not doing enough in the very beginning. It's totally okay and that's expected and that's how you know that next week you can add something else in. Next tip is be specific. Be so specific, vague plans do not work. If your routine isn't clear, it loses all of its power. If there's no structure or timeline in your routine, you're going to forget about it and it's going to be totally irrelevant to you come one day. Get a planner and write down time blocks or just get a notebook, write down time blocks. All of my tasks and my to-do lists in the run of a day run from two hour intervals. So it's not too stressful that it needs to be like minute by minute. I have a couple tasks to do in the morning, like eight to 10 when I'm getting up or six to eight when I'm waking up for the day and then 10 to 12. And it is also a fantastic feeling of productivity when you get your 12 p.m. tasks done at 10 a.m. because you give yourself a little bit more grace and you think that you need more time to do these things when honestly when you get the ball rolling and you get in that momentum of just being focused and being on your shit completing them off and just checking off the boxes has to be one of my favorite feelings out there keep this list very visible i will write it down in my notebook and then i will keep it on the counter where i eat my breakfast every single day so in the morning when i eat my breakfast i already know what is going to take place for that day and then when i leave the house to go to the gym or if i have groceries i have to do that day i'll put it in the list and i'll take a picture on my phone so i can just continue if i'm if there are certain things that i can do just on my phone like creating certain content i will do that and i'll check that off while i'm on the treadmill in the gym the next one is do hard or longer tasks in the morning and then do less demanding tasks at night this is because dopamine is higher in the morning and then it'll decrease throughout the day, leaving you with more serotonin at night. So that gives us more of a sense of relaxation and kind of winding down for the night. But you're more motivated in the morning, as we probably all know. So even if you have work at 9 a.m., that still gives you three or four hours, depending on when you wake up, before you even have to leave for work to get a couple things checked off your list. Then at night, maybe schedule your emails or more computer work for after work. So then you can sit down, put on a show and then do everything just sitting down. The next one is visualize and prepare in advance. I understand that life might get in the way of your routine. Everyone is busy, everyone. So do not use that as an excuse. Work might call you in on your day off when you have a ton of things on your list. Or if you don't plan your workout for the day and you end up in the gym and you have no idea what the hell you're going to do and you just get anxious and then just leave. Before the day even begins, 
visualize how your day is going to look and visualize running through your routine for the day, work included, your breaks included, what can you do and what spaces do you have in the day to fill up where you can be productive here and there so you can get more stuff done. What are you doing for the day? What boxes are you checking off? What assignments do you need to get done? When are the deadlines? What are you eating? What are you training? Eliminating these small obstacles ahead of time and seeing the bigger picture can help so much if anything were to come up that you have to shift around your routine a little bit. And then you're not all panicked for the rest of the day that you couldn't get a couple things done. Also, anything that you don't get done that day should be changed to the following day at the very top of your list. The last tip that I have for you, which is my favorite, is the 30% rule. So this is for when life happens. Not every day is going to be perfect, obviously. Some days you're going to be more tired. Some days you might sleep in a little bit longer. Some days you might just feel groggy or just not yourself. So the 30% rule are for days like that. These days, you are going to do your routine, but only at 30% intensity. So if you usually work out for an hour every day, just work out for 20 minutes this day. If you can only put in 20 minutes, show up, do a 20 minute light workout or just do 20 minutes on the treadmill or a piece of cardio equipment. If you study three courses in a day, an hour each, cut that back and then just pick your most important lecture or your, or your most important course you have to study for and just choose one and just study for one hour. This small effort is what will keep you ahead even when you aren't going full speed and when you just can't give it your all. Because we all know that missing one day out of our routine will just send us spiraling. Next thing you know, a week is gonna go by, a month is gonna go by, where we haven't even thought twice about the long list that we had that we had to get done, and there's two check marks on it, and you forgot about it a month ago. Doing just a small amount every day is what's going to keep that momentum, and you're still gonna be ahead. It's way better than having a huge setback and then just giving up completely. So with that being said, that is how you can keep a sense of routine in your life, even when life gets busy and how you can actually stay disciplined within that routine. My routine changes every single day, but I have my list here to hold me accountable. And like I said, there's nothing better than checking off your boxes every day. Make sure you check it off. The first step is watching this video. And I love videos like this because it always does keep me a little bit motivated. Whenever I don't feel like eating healthy, I'll watch someone's healthy what I eat in a day. And it just kind of gives me a little bit of motivation that I would have had to put into processed food or a burger and fries. And instead I'll choose to eat something from home and I'll be saving money anyways. And like I said, we are all busy, especially this time of year. So that really is not an excuse anymore. Everyone is busy and everyone has their schedules completely filled up. Yes, of course, we want to use some time to do nothing, but some days we just can't do nothing. We have to do a lot and it just is what it is and we make it work. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe for more of these videos. If you are enjoying these videos and if you think they're getting better if you've been watching my videos for the last few months, definitely leave a like and a comment reassuring me. Please, I'm asking for reassurance. <laughs> But I will leave you guys to enjoy the rest of your day and get started on your productivity. Thanks so much for watching. Stay jacked. Bye.